You haven't felt true power till you've got a stick in your hand. But it's not just a stick, it's a wand. Your wand. Sure, some wizard and witches cast spells with our wand, but they're savages. They don't know better. You don't eat with your bare hands, do you? No, you don't because you're civilized. There's nothing quite like holding a wand. It tells your enemies that you mean business. Sophisticated business. So come on down to Ollivander's Wand Shop and get yourself a wand. Or rather, let a wand pick you. And I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't a random stick on the ground do just fine? A wizard or a witch technically has the power inside them. And the stick is just a conduit, right? Well, wrong. Our sticks, I mean, our ones are made from the finest wood harvested from the best trees around the world. The tree is whittled down until the one reveals itself. Then we insert a magical core into it. For example, phoenix tail feathers, unicorn hair, or dragon heart strings. Just like the muggles put cheese into pizza crust. And voila, that stick is now a refined one and await your arrival. Assuming you have the galleons to pay for it, of course. Alabinder's Wand Shop, the best place to finally be a wizard. Disclaimer, at some point the wand may start acting on its own on your behalf. We at Alabinder's Wand hold no responsibility for stray wands. That's why we say that the wand chooses you. So it's very clear that the moment you pay for it, it becomes your responsibility. If it's Adivra Kadavra, a random person, you are entirely liable for damages as the wand is just a fancy stick. For any questions or concerns, contact your local wizarding school. 